So what chemicals should the brain put in the blood? And the answer is, whatever thought you have, the brain will translate that into complementary chemistry. There's a chemistry for love, which is a different chemistry than fear, which is a different chemistry than anger. And I go, oh, uh, uh, and so basically it says this, if I hold a picture of love in my consciousness, my brain translates that into love chemistry, dopamine for pleasure, oxytocin, bonding, vasopressin makes you more attractive, keep your partner, and growth hormone, which does what it says. So if I have a picture of love in my head, I'm a healthy person. Why? Those chemicals when in my blood are going to enhance my vitality. That's why when people fall in love, they glow. That glow of health is not an accident. It's a result of the chemistry. But I say, but if I have a picture of fear in my head, I don't release love chemistry. As you mentioned, we start to release things like stress hormones into the blood or factors that affect the immune system to protect us and shut us down. I go, wait, the chemistry of love is totally different than the chemistry of fear. But to the cells, they respond to the chemistry. So there's a behavior that's associated with love, vitality, health, and that's why love is so cool. But there's a different behavior associated with fear because it's a shutdown of the mechanism of protection, wall yourself off, save yourself, and stuff like that. And I'm going, so here's the bottom line. We used to say genes control us. We're victims. We didn't pick them, can't change them. They turn on and off by themselves. The new science, epigenetics, and epi means above. So epigenetics is above the genes. That's where the control comes from. <gasps> consciousness. You change your consciousness and you change the chemistry of your blood, which and then in turn changes the uh, genetic activity. And all of a sudden it says, then I'm not a victim of my genes. Damn it. I'm the master of my genes because it depends on what chemistry I'm going to send to the cells, which then is dependent on what is my consciousness. And all of a sudden it says, oh my goodness, we're not victims. We're, we're creating this. Uh, but if you didn't know it, then that's when it goes to victim. It's like, well, I, I don't know how that happened. I go, well, I'll tell you how it happened now. It was what you were thinking that created the chemistry, which in turn adjusted the genetics to complement the vision. Mm -hmm.